Mike McCarthy. Speaking of the Antichrist, Mike McCarthy. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Mike. Uh, here he is. Here he is from earlier today. At least doesn't replace the clock call. management. Oh I'm just goodness. kidding. Wow. I'm kidding. I'm going to get a few phone calls, and I'm going to blame it all on you. Here's Mike That's McCarthy fine. from earlier today on why Jalen Smith is no longer a member of the Cowboys. Well, we, did, we just felt that this is the was the the best time to make to make this decision. Uh, obviously, there's not there's not really ever a good time for these type of decisions, but basically, just with all the all the factors involved, is is why the decision was made yesterday. What were those factors? I'm not going to get into all the specifics of it. I mean, this is a big roster, big picture roster move. Um, so, you know, as far as far as us moving forward, we just felt that this was the right time. How long has it been in consideration? How, how long had it been in consideration? I mean, you're evaluating your roster all the time. I mean, you know, we we had an extensive personnel meeting yesterday, and you know, and, and we talked through every single player on the roster. And so, I mean, that's I mean, you're, frankly, you've been. That's a that's a normal process. I'm sure every team goes through. It's just uh, once again, it was a big, big picture roster move, and we felt this was the time to do it. Look, this is very simple. It speaks to the ruthlessness of the National Football League and the moment that they decide you are no longer worth what your contract says you shall be paid, and there are broader contractual considerations that could increase the financial exposure if you should get injured, and that's exactly what went on here. $9.2 million in salary next year guaranteed for injury now created the incentive to move on now before Jalen Smith got injured, and the Cowboys would be on the hook for $9.2 million next year at a time when they're always pressed against the cap. Cowboys and Steelers, every year, they're pressed against the cap. So far enough into the season – to say we're fine with who we have. Ken O'Neill's working out. Micah Parsons, stud. Leighton Vander Esch, healthy. We don't need Jalen Smith. We're going to move on from him now. And yes, they own the balance of the salary this year, but this was about avoiding the possibility of another $9.2 million going out the door next year, Miles. Plain and simple. But it shows, at the end of the day, football is family, my butt. Football is business, and they say football is family because it's good for business to say football is family. Period. Exclamation point. Go ahead. Well, that's not grammatically correct when you have a period and an exclamation no, point. No. You should probably just choose one or the other. You know, I think that your book editor Question mark. would probably tell you that. Question mark? Oh. Okay, yeah. I oh, there's so. plenty anyway. of them. There's plenty yeah. of those in there. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, I, I think you're right about just the way this business works and how ruthless it is. And it's unfortunate for the individual, but, you know, at least he's gotten a second contract out of this. Because I remember when he was coming into the draft, in 2016, and there are people that I trust who really know football in this league very well who are saying that they really weren't sure whether or not he was ever going to be able to play a snap. And I don't think that this was, you know, something that people didn't really talk about at the time. It, it was, wow, the Cowboys really used a second round pick on this guy. And they don't, and they know that he's probably not going to play a snap this year, but it could also go through the future. And not only did he get on the field, not only did he play a snap, but he played so well that he was able to earn a second contract. So I give him so much credit for that. And obviously, you know, you, you're not going to see somebody trade for that contract when you have that kind of injury guarantee going into next year. But I think he's still a serviceable enough linebacker that somebody else is going to pick him up, at least for the rest of this season. And then maybe we see what happens with him down the road. But like I said, I just give him so much credit for the career that he's been able to have to this point after he suffered that devastating injury in the bowl game. Well, and the bottom line is, given that injury, given what it did to his draft prospects, given what it did to the early stages of his career, the fact that he cashed in with a big second contract, that makes him a winner. He salvaged Absolutely. what could have been, and he ended up having a good career, and even if it's done now. And that's what he has to decide. And I think that any player that's made a significant amount of money in the NFL gets to the point where he has to ask himself, is the incremental amount that I can earn continuing to play worth it? Is it worth the injury risk? Is it worth the risk of potential long-term cognitive difficulty on top of what I've already assumed by the number of years I've played? And there's a point where what they're willing to pay you is not worth what you're willing to endure when you consider how much you already have. And assuming, and he, Jalen Smith had some 
some news that was created about his involvement in business activities and and thinking forward and and saving his money and investing wisely. He may already be past the point where he you know, he has everything that he needs, especially if he's making that money work for him. So uh, if he wants to keep playing, hopefully it works out. And if he doesn't, he's done well enough that he can move on. All right. Let's Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.